they love him. Yo, they love me, and I'm gonna tell y'all some shit. Baby, I love you too, boy. I don't want no problem. I don't want no problems with the media. We just want you to love us more, but we love. We already love you. All these folks. I know. That's why I'm saying we just want you to love us more. That's all. Brothers, love yourself. Juice, man. You gotta want to part with the media. I'm the poly. About ten thousand dollars. What? You mean, you what were you playing? Hundred dollar hand? Alvin. I'm playing with them, honey. Al Hammond paid me too oh, much for me to get paid a hundred thousand. What you got in there? Oh, I'll be no, I get Lil Nye. Lil Nye? Lil Nye. Let's start with the Lil tattoos. Nye. Could uh -huh. you explain your left arm for us, please? Well, my left arm, <laughs> yeah, oh, we really get into all of that. But look, my left arm is very important. I made my first hundred thousand, not with Golden Boy, with Al Heyman. It's the yen symbol. I beat a Japan, a black Japan, Japanese man. So that's why I put the yen. And I got lions all over me. Mm -hmm. I got boxing gloves tattered on me. Oh, a cause symbol. I ain't never seen a cause with gloves. The Sunrise. Me and my brother used to create a click back in the days called the Sunrise Gang. It was the guys coming up. And it's crazy. We're still coming up to me. However, you know, I got the Sunrise. And I got a baby lion on me. The WBC, if you see it. But anyways, off the tattoos, gloves, poly illusion shit, all kinds of stuff. You gotta leave enough room for three other belts. Well, I got, I got um, room. I'm on my ankles and shit. <laughs> I'm keeping the stress around us. Jamel, yeah. uh, it seems like you and Jamal, you guys are getting known as having like the fiercest. Mm -hmm. You guys bring that most fierce energy into the ring and intensity. Why do you think that is? This light gotta go. They're like, I, definitely, I can't even see you. I can't even respect you as a man. I can't even respect you as a man. <laughs> I got to look you in your eyes, and if you're looking away, I'm done talking to you. Okay? It's my dad talking. But listen, um, the world of boxing is starting to just now, you know, keep game on the Charlos. We actually been this way. We've been these people. I'm not putting on the front for you. Um, I mean, all I can say is that Y'all keep on watching this, and I guess you'll keep liking this. I mean, the ones that wasn't believers, I can see a few non-believers around me right now, and I appreciate them being believers, and um, all due respect to them. I, I care for the ones that started with me. You know, I care for the ones that really love me and respect the Charles and what we've been through. Well, where do you think you and your brother get that uh, intensity from that you bring into the ring? Where's that come from? Well, my uncle back there, he, he grew up with my father. He realized father kind of raised us wrong, you know, but I guess that made me who the man I am today. And my brother who he is today, he a family man. And he a stud as well, so I don't know what to say. What do you think about, because it seemed like you're the hottest fighter at 54, getting Emma. all the knockouts. Emma. So, so why isn't it Jamel Charlo against Lara or Jamel Charlo against her? Well, when you when you enter my world, you enter the Jamel Charlo show. So I care less about the next opponent. The, the most important thing is us to continue to build our legacy, 154 is my division. Humble as I could come, I never tell people that this is my division because I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. And the, the way I lose my hunger in boxing, and it has happened to me before as a professional, but I'm undefeated, 30 and 0. I lost my hunger before. I got it back though. And the way I get it back is very easy by feeling so doubted. And thank to you media, and thank to you all the people that doubted the Trump and the Charlos, we did what we had to do. We silenced them, we shut them up, we hopefully continue to shut them up. 2018 is very specific for us because PBC is doing some things that we didn't expect. They're giving really, really close attention to the fighters. And with that being said, we have to come in here. We have to really, 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 really have our life together outside the ring, inside the ring. And 2018 is something that I've been working on. If y'all want to hear from us and y'all want to hear more from us, the best thing I can say is just, you know, really lock in with the Charlos and like like when I say lock in I mean like lock in deep I got fans that really lock in deep with me and I know who they are because they actually telling me things that I wouldn't expect them to know and if a boxing writer can do those things it's awesome boxing ego came out to the to the workout a couple weeks ago and it was astounding to him to see the gym and like he really looked at the facility like damn I didn't okay I see where it come from the hunger is just within me the hunger is not what I'll show you I care less to show the fans and the media and the people how hungry I am because that's why y'all lose the urge to, to watch me and then y'all start calling out these gay guys and all these other boxers. I don't want to you know, say those words, but thank you all. It ain't alcohol. I do drink. It's water. <laughs> so, who do you want to knock out next? Well, the problem is I can't control who I fight next. 
I wish I could just say, grab that guy, but I, I hope I can fight somebody that got a weak chin and I can just nut them up. Make some of the figures, right? Yeah, because y'all know I hit hard. <laughs> I showed that, and I keep showing him that. Every time I step in the ring, I see you, guy. I'm like, man, that guy be with all kind of boxes, and that wake me up all the time. I'm like, he be with all kind of boxes. I don't know who he rocking with. I like you, but I don't like you because you rock with a lot of boxes. I want you to rock with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> you with me, though. You with me. Which one are you? See, I'm the, I'm the, I can't. Do we need that coach? He say the first or the second one. <laughs> I signed with Al second. Okay. Well, I turned pro, turn pro first, though. It's a tie. You know how I feel. I love both of y'all. Have you hit your prime yet, you think? Uh, I do want to retire at 30 years old. I'm 27, I'm 27 right now. Got about three more years where I really want to be. I never told nobody that, but. I possibly could get it done, but I'm not where I want to be as far as success. So I try my best to try to build that up. That's why I open the gym, and that's why I try to build my city around me and my, not me around my city because they don't Houston don't support. They don't support the come up. They support the up. You know, and I, I don't think that's just Houston. I think that's a lot of places. But um, I haven't hit my prime. I'm I'm still building that. The way I know that is because like when I look at myself and I look at guys like Lauren, I'm like, wait, he way older than me. I'm 27. And I'm where I'm at. Okay, Bob, I'm, no matter who you fight, you put your life on the line when you fight. I put my life on the line every time I fight, so I got 30 people that I beat. Laura Dick. You know, so I don't know about her record. Already undefeated. I don't study guys until I, two or three weeks before the fight. I live me, I do me, and I'm happy where I'm at. Do you have an opponent for June 9th? I have several opponents. Would you mind sharing? Oh. You gonna they, fight them all or you fight I, just How about this? How about this? They told me Julian Williams, I told him no. Makes sense? It's dumb, huh? I be giving y'all that heat. I don't tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I got it in my foot. I got my jacket on. I can't tell you this heat like this. But, but yeah. Um, they gave me a few, name, a few names. And we, like we said, we gave y'all what we want. And I'm going to give y'all what y'all need, okay? Promise you that. And you know what? You know what the most important thing about life is? Adversity. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of boxers don't face adversity, and when they do face adversity, they don't know how to bounce back. And that's because of the manhood that they have. The will to win is everything. I have a will to win. I don't think I could just get in there and give it up. You can't. It's not in me. It's a lion in me. Did, For real. Did you know this? I, I wasn't at the fight. I watched it on TV, but you took all the energy out of the arena. I think everyone walked out of Lara when he fought Boucher. That in. That, in, that energy could someday turn into ticket sales. Yeah. And we have to help you create that narrative. And my second part to that is, sometimes we want more of you mm -hmm. and your brother. So and how I, can I give you more? I want to know though. What do you need from me? What do you need from me? More interviews probably, you know? like I give, I give you all the interviews. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Now I give every interview, really. Sometimes. Sometimes. Nowadays. They are looking at me like, oh, yeah. you know. You know, because y'all be turned up like, no interviews. I'm supporting my brother. We get all of that. But we like you so much. Mm -hmm. and we I didn't know that. We want to be in your circle so much because your energy is... Well, we were, we were hated so much, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you grew up hated by the media? You know, we grew up with the hate towards the media, so why would I interview with you and you're going to turn the words around? I'm done. I ain't, I'd rather not. I'd rather save myself. So now that y'all do enjoy the energy, hey, welcome to the world. Sign, sign the application for lines only. Damn wagon. <laughs> sign the application for the damn wagon, dog. What you know the all, all the media to be bandwagon until they realized that they was the champions before they was the champions. Done. You feel me? I love your questions, though, bro. I really appreciate you asking that. Because I, I was in New York at the last fight, and I was looking hard for you. You know, it cost I, me it cost I, me a thousand dollars to get there. And I was, I'm like, I want to get Jamel. I gotta get Jamel. I was the, in and out that situation. Yeah, I was yeah, in and out. Mean? My brother fought. I went to the back the arena. Mm -hmm. Went to the ring. Mm -hmm. Didn't yeah. have no. Didn't talk to nobody. Uh -huh. This is Steven right here, right? I wrote him in a DM one time. I said, Hey, I'm about to move to LA. I'm gonna be an actor. Never got a reply back. Hey, guess what I did? I seen him in the I seen him in the I said, Hey, bro. Wanna be an actor, right? I got dead in his ass right there. He got mad at me. We gonna work on it. We call Steven Spielberg real quick. No, no, I had a scene in his face. Check your DM, bro. I checked mine. I got more. <laughs> I, I, I seen him. I, I seen him. <laughs>